In this video, I'm going to show you how to have some fun in 5 wide and Madden 21. These concepts will also be very effective in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, like I said, I'm going to be talking about some five wide passing concepts that you can use. And we're actually going to be focusing in on the five wide receiver bunch out of the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. So as you see here, it's the empty bunch wide. And this formation is honestly a ton of fun in this year's game. Now, what the concept that I'm going to be going over with you in this video is my base play out of this formation. It's my favorite little formation. And I actually just released this empty bunch wide into the text message membership. So if you want to sign up for the text message membership to get this along with over 20 of the uh, offenses and defenses that I put together for Madden 21, then all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 to get signed up for the text message membership. I would encourage you to get signed up because we release a free offense or a free defense every single week. Typically, these are one hour long schemes and we're actually going to be continuing this for Madden 22. So uh, Madden 22 is right around the corner. August 12th is coming right around the corner. And if you want to get um, all of my stuff, the best way to do that is to sign up for the text message membership. Again, all you have to do to do that is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That is my personal cell phone number. And I'm actually working on responding to all of my messages there uh, over the course of the next seven days and trying to kind of commit to getting back to you guys a little bit more promptly uh, than I was able to in Madden 21. We grew our text message message uh, list over 3,000 uh, 3, people, and so it was a little bit challenging for me to respond, but I've carved out some time in my schedule to focus on that. So if you have questions, that's also the best way to get in touch with me. Now the play we're going over in this video is drag curl. It's a great concept out of the bunch wide, and really um, you can do you can run this formation in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm going to share with you um, you know, one simple way that we can run this. And typically what I like to do is I like to have my bunch to the, to the wide side of the field. Now, really quickly, before I go too far in this video, I want to be very clear and say that there is actually a lot of value in not doing that from certain plays uh, out of this offense. We go over that in the guide that you'll get in the text message membership. But um, I do like to generally start with that, especially with this base concept. So what we're going to do with this, and if you have Hot Route Master, I'm going to give you two setups, one with Hot Route Master and one without Hot Route Master. The first setup is without or with Hot Route Master. And what I like to do is put the X receiver on a corner, Smart Route the circle receiver, and then simply drag the R1 receiver, which is the tight end. And my first read on this is nine times out of 10 going to be these quick drag routes. I absolutely love these mesh routes. These are my favorite routes in the game. They're just so good against everything that the defense can do. And what it's going to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to have at least a minimum of four to five underneath zones that are going to come underneath and actually play on these underneath crossing routes. The cool part about this is this is going to open up a lot of room now for us to be able to work other concepts on this play, um, like, for example, the corner route to the X receiver. As you can see right there, um, right there, Brady without Gunslinger kind of just uh, kind of messed up a little bit on that read. Let me show you that one more time. So again, I'm just going to set up the, the meta Mabel coverage, which is the most popular coverage that you're going to face uh, when you're running this type of formation. Another thing I like to do is put the square receiver on a corner route on this play. And the reason why I like to do that is I think it just helps with the horizontal spacing of this. You'll see that the square receiver is very consistent against Mabel. If they're running Mabel coverage with their flats on 30, their curl flats or their seam flats on 10, and their hook curls on five or 10, you're gonna have a lot of success with this corner route to the left side. Um, short side corner routes, this is just a little pro tip, short side corner routes are really, really hard to be um, or hard to stop in this year's game. The other thing I absolutely love about this is that the triangle receiver is running the mesh route. It's the route that basically what that mesh route is going to do is again zone coverage it's going to settle up in noose and what that basically means is it's going to find grass and take grass so when it gets to that open spot on the defense you're going to see that it's going to get wide open uh, against that Mabel coverage whether they have a vertical hook there or not most of the time they actually won't so if they don't have a yellow zone there 
um, you'll see it's going to get even more open, especially, and this is why I really like the corner routes, because um, the corner routes will really do a good job of pulling the zones out of the way. And then as you see right here, I can just check it down right to that little hook uh, over the middle of the field. Now, if you, um, real quick, for those of you that uh, don't know about this motioned out uh, little post route, this is one of the most underrated routes in the game. And the reason why is because it's going to get in a very unique position against the defense. And if you want to let it set, you certainly can. But I really like to just motion it out. And what you'll see here is it's going to cut inside, and it's going to get underneath that deep third zone. Now, if you smart route it, it's going to get even more underneath that. But the problem with smart routing it is it can make it a little bit too shallow and allow the user to have a chance to be able to play it. But I'll show you it smart routed as well. And, you know, I kind of 50-50 on do I smart route it or not. Most of the time, I probably don't. Um, but as you see, it gets really in a nice little position over the middle of the field. So as they're jumping down to the crossing routes, then you're going to have these openings with the, um, with the post route. Now, for those of you that don't have Hot Route Master and you want to still run this offense and you want to still run this scheme, I'm here to tell you it's certainly uh, still very effective. And what I like to do is I like to take the square receiver and put him on a curl route, and I like to drag the R1 receiver if that's the case for me. And the reason why I like to do this is because what you're going to notice about these curl routes makes it really special is they are going to do a phenomenal job at holding zones so that you can throw your drag. So when people are running Mabel coverage, and when they're running seam flat zones in particular, curl flat zones as well, if they're playing 10 yard zones, those zones are gonna go to the curl route. Now, if they're playing anything under 10 yard zones, meaning if they're playing like five yard, uh, five yard curl flats, then you'll see that the, the, um, the curl route will be more open. But as you can see there, the drags are still getting open underneath the zone. What I like about this, and, and this is something, what I would recommend, this is just a quick, this is just a quick tip, but what I would recommend is if you are using the curl routes, just a pro tip on this, uh, I would encourage you to drag triangle. The reason why I encourage you to drag him is because the curl route is going to uh, have better spacing. And as you see right here, look how much space Evans has to work the sideline. We're getting 10 yards every single time, and they're dropping nine people into coverage and five people in underneath zones to try to be able to stop this. Now, if your opponent uh, wants to try to blitz you out of this, I would highly uh, discourage them from doing that because it's really simple for you to beat the blitz, especially with this first, uh, especially with the first setup. So, if you get a look that looks like they're going to blitz you, my favorite way to beat the blitz out of this is honestly just to leverage these drags. Both drags are going to come open, you know, relatively easily against this. Now, really quick, a little pro tip and something that you can do, especially if you're expecting pressure. One little, one little trick that you can do if you're expecting pressure is to take the um, X receiver, put him on the drag, and then take the R1 and put him on a flat route. The reason why I like to do that is because it just helps a little bit more with the blitz. It gives me an extra hot read. Um, you'll see here that the R1 to the flat, really simple, but it can be an easy three to five yards against that, that coverage, you know, if that's something that you're going to get a lot. Again, you have to understand that most people are going to be utilizing seam flat zones and seam flat zones, as a general rule, are actually fairly effective at taking away quick, you know, quick routes against the blitz. So that's why I really like to have these corner routes. Um, if you use curl routes, they're not going to be as open. But as you see here, I mean, you're able to hit the drag and you're able to just get the ball out of your hands quick. Now about man coverage, we haven't spent a whole lot of time on man coverage in this video. That's because this play really does a good job against man coverage. What you're going to see here is that the corner route to the X receiver is not going to get jammed and if you have a receiver that has good route running or an ability you're going to see you're going to get really consistent separation against man coverage potentially even a one play touchdown if you can rat catch it properly the other thing that you're going to be able to do against man coverage is and I didn't say this yet but both curl routes if you were to use curl routes out of this they would also be able to beat man so corners and curls they both beat man the other thing that you've got going for you is this triangle receiver is going to turn this into a drag route against man coverage. And as you can see, it's going to beat it for about 5 to 10 yards. The same thing is true of the uh, tight end. The tight end is not going to get jammed, so he's going to get a lot better separation than the other one. And you'll see right here, it doesn't get jammed. Easy read against man for about 10 yards again. So pretty much every route on this play beats man to man, which is one of the main reasons why you won't, honestly, I would be surprised 
if you run this offense and you see a lot of man coverage, the reason why is because this formation in general is really, really good against man. Um, it's really, really good against man. That See that little skinny post uh, or that S post when you motion it out and kind of snap it? It does a good job against man-to-man -man as well. So all in all, this is really one of my favorite base plays in the entire game. It's basically the mesh uh, concept, but it's from Compressed Bunch out of 5 wide. I think this is a lot of fun. And if you want to learn the rest of this offense, I would encourage you um, to just simply text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. We've broken this offense down. We've also broken uh, over 20 offenses and defenses down over the course of the Madden 21 season. So if you want to kind of do a deep dive into that, that will help you prepare for Madden 22. I'd encourage you to sign up. Again, all you got to do is text the word Madden, M-A-D-D-E-N, to 208-218-6900.